Nigel Wellings, joint head of corporate at Clifford Chance, joins us for more. Um, good morning. And first and foremost, I would like to understand really what has driven this performance, this interest in the first half of this year and whether this is likely to continue for the second half, really. Yeah, thank you. I mean, I think what's really driven the performance are the factors you've been alluding to in, in, uh, ahead of, uh, before the adverts. Um, it's really the comparative improvement in inflation and in, in rates. So if you look back to the comparative period of uh, H1 2023, um, we had a difficult inflation environment and a difficult rate environment. Now, this uh, first half, you've really seen inflation under control. Uh, rates, the direction of travel is clearly expected to be downward. I mean, there's some issues around the timing of that, but a much more stable environment. And in the UK, you know, we've just reported some growth. Um, and the, the financing market's better as well. So all those key factors have really allowed people to understand the value of businesses, um, talk about the valuations, and therefore reach a price point where they can transact on, on M&A. Um, and we've really seen that in the public markets in particular. Now, this morning we are seeing a further news that Rio Tinto is studying mining mega deals after the collapse of BHP Anglo uh, deal earlier this year. Is the mining sector ultimately the one that we're likely to see further activity in the second half of this year, or would you highlight other sectors? I, I think the second half of this year is going to be positive across a number of sectors. As I say, that environment for transacting is still there, as you alluded to, the ambition of CEOs, the, the bit of pent-up demand, and the need to transact is certainly there across, across the market. So that's a great point for stability in transacting. Yeah, there will definitely also be some sector drivers. Um, you've mentioned tech, we'd see that, energy transition. And I think mining is really interesting in that market. One of the distinguishing factors for mining is, is the long-term nature of all mining transactions. So those guys really are looking out into the future when they transact. And you've seen some mega deals in that area. So yeah, I would expect that to be, to be a positive. And obviously one of the drivers in there is the whole EV battery, um, you know, the fine metals and the, um, the minerals needed for, the, for that uh, element of the sector. And that is fueling the energy transition. So, yeah, there's a very strong market there for, for transactions. And thinking about the UK alone, to what extent is the politics a driver here? Now that we overcome that potential uncertainty around the election, is this now the necessity, the necessary certainty that some companies would like in order to move ahead with further deals? Yeah, absolutely. I, th I think in the short term for the, for this year, the fact the elections come a bit earlier than was maybe expected is a positive. People will move into the summer and then really look to transact um, in Q Q4, late Q3, early Q4. And that's certainly what we're seeing at Clifford Chance. You know, a lot of deals with processes that are, are going to launch over the summer or early September to get into, into this calendar year. So that short term thing is very positive. Um, and more generally, yes, you know, um, stability is great for M&A transacting. The government's early indications have been around growth, have been around investment and have been around partnering with with private uh, capital in that in that conversation. So all positive from that from that perspective. Now, I would, also, I would also like to get your thoughts on uh, the role of private equity in this space. There's a couple of reports suggesting that private equity firms are snapping up IPO candidates at this stage. I was just wondering whether you have seen any sort of implication here about how private investors are playing a role in this space and therefore that could lead to less activity in the second half of this year. Is this a risk, basically? No, look, I think I think they are playing a huge role in it. I mean, the private capital market, not just private equity, but across private, you know, the real estate sector, infrastructure, clean energy um, has been a massive driver. And I think that will only continue um, in the latter half of this year. You've certainly seen, um, again, that ambition, that need to put capital to work is very prevalent. They've probably had a year or two where they weren't able to put as much capital to work as they'd like. So there's a bit of a need there. The valuations, as, we, as I've said, are in a good place. And I think particularly on the public market, you're seeing that inflection point between a value that um, a buyer feels they can, they can grow and, and make money out of, but also that a board can recommend um, and can say to its shareholders, this is a good price. So you've seen, you know, just recently, the, the keyword studios, P2P, led by a consortium uh, of, of private equity and sovereign wealth, um, is a great example. So yeah, I think that will definitely be a driver over the coming six months. Um, and there's a number of those deals in the market, uh, you know, waiting to announce, I think.
Right. It does feel like it could be an exciting second half of this year. Let's see what will happen. But thank you for your thoughts this morning. That was Nigel Wellings, Joint Head of Corporate at Clifford Chance.